The Bible is the mark of the beast. And today I'll tell you about this ministry. As far as I know, this is the only ministry on earth that's authorized by Jesus. See, they say, this is the authorized word of God. That's not, that's an idol. That's the mark of the beast. Now I want to tell you about this ministry so that you'll understand what's going on in the world. See, the Bible, God has lost sovereignty over his own word. Because the devil's got his word now. When they made up this golden calf, they took away God's power over his own word. Now, in the uh, Quakers, you know, they came out and they said, it's the light of God that's in you. It's not a book in your hand. That's what they said. And they said, we have a more sure word of prophecy, and that's the Holy Ghost in us. Not a book in your hand, you see. And they hung them, and, and they put them in jail, and uh, they destroyed 50,000 of them. And they wanted this golden calf of, of the Bible. So God tried to stop it. But you wanted this so much you built your illusion. Now think about where we're at today. you got a church on every corner. I mean, you got millions and millions of Baptists and Methodists and Pentecostals and a billion Catholics. So they all built on the Bible. They took the Bible. And this is a big thing. If you was to destroy the church this day, you'd destroy the whole world. So you know this is not going to be destroyed. There's going to be a few of you heed this warning and you'll come out and serve God in truth. A lot of you serve him in secret because you can't even stand up anywhere and say this is the mark of the beast or tear one of these things up because I've done it and they run me out of town. You know, And just a few of them while back, uh, this great leader they had led them out to California and they got them some signs and put up and said the Bible is the mark of the beast. And they attacked them, and the great leader hid behind the bathroom. So you see, this thing is powerful when you get out there. They don't know what it's got. The only way you can do it, the door open to us today is a computer. I don't know how much longer it'll be open. But I've been doing it almost five years. And this year will be 45 years. This month, at the end of this month, I got this message in 1970 in the springtime. And it's been 45 years I've had this message, the Bible's an idol. Now, I, I've been in the gospel 51 years this spring. God called me in 64. And I've told this everywhere. I've built little churches and things that just can't stand it. People that has businesses and things, they cannot stand to stand up and say that this is the mark of the beast. They can't buy and or sell. So a lot of you people that believe in this, you stay low. And you stay out of sight. You, you believe it. You've overcome the mark of the beast and all. But you can't publicly say it like they did when... When Paul was converted, he couldn't find no Christians because they was hit out. They was hunting them. So you, you have to stay hit out, many of you. If you want to be in this message, take an old Bible like this one and go to your closet and tell Jesus, say, I will not be controlled by this book. I'm going to be controlled by the Holy Ghost. I know that's what you sent. You sent us the gift of God. And that's what I'm going to go by. So you tear it up in your Bible tell Jesus, I don't want this thing to be controlled over me. The devil will instantly lose control over you uh, for, for his prisons with stained glass windows. Preachers will have no power over you. Bible worshipers have no power over you. Now, there'll be other battles to fight. I know that. But you'll win the big battle by overcoming the mark of the beast. And this is King James, born in 1566, sixth out of the house of Stuart, and he printed up 66 books. This is the authorized. They had authority to put uh, uh, George Fox and them in prison with this. Because it was authorized by the king. So this is the message. This is the warning. You remember when they put warnings on cigarettes? Uh, J. Edgar Coop, the uh, Surgeon General of America, put it on there. Said it may cause cancer. And then they put it on there that it would cause cancer. Back when I was a boy in the 30s and 40s, everybody smoked. I mean, 60, 70, 80 percent of the people would smoke. Camels and Lucky Strike. Today it's down to about 30 percent. Because he put a warning on it. See, well I'm putting a warning on this thing. You take this. And if you stand before God, you're going to be bitter. You're going to be in serious trouble when you do that. Because this is, is the mark of the beast. It's not the word of God. And they put it. Now, a lot of people, I don't know how this got started. I told people, I said, John came and taught me spiritual things. He appeared to me. I was in my tent meeting in South Carolina. And he came and I said, who is this? And it was man from the past. You could tell the way he's dressed and, and his beard and everything. And he said, this is John. He will teach you spiritual things. So I learned spiritual things from John. I learned about Azusa Street, 
about Constantine, about uh, Queen James and, and Azusa Street. I learned about all these things because he would teach me and I would know and I've told him so many times that the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is an old covenant. I've, so many things, Timothy was a Jew, stir up the gift of God in you, Timothy, neglect not the gift dwelt, uh, dwelt by the Holy Ghost in us, that's what keeps us. Bible worshipers can't even answer these questions, and it's been over and over and over. I've taught and taught and taught. But this is where the, this ministry is. This It's the little book in the angel's hand. And he said, and he said unto me, You must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. That's what Jesus is using me for. I know. People say, You're an old dumb hillbilly. You see, people, that's all Jesus can call. I was the only one he could get through. You can't call somebody that's mighty and wise and noble. They won't come into the gospel. They won't They won't hear the gospel. Has to get some dumb hillbilly like me to get me through. I've been 45 years telling this. And this thing is the truth. And when you stand before God, your belly is going to be bitter if you obey this. Now, people tell me, they say, Harden, we don't uh, worship the Bible. Yes, you do. You go to church because the Bible says, Forsake not to assemble yourselves together. You... Pay tithes, because the Bible said bring all the tithes into the storehouse. You go into all the world, because the Bible said go into all the world. You are controlled by this. I go where God tells me to go. I do what God tells me to do, and they don't get no tithes off me, them devils. I don't support devils. And there's very few of us in the world. If we get 50,000 people like Fox did, that'll help Jesus' kingdom a lot. And a lot of you children that believe this message, you're the only ones that's authorized to teach. All these Bible worshipers, they're authorized by Queen Jane. They have no authority. You have authority from Jesus Christ to tell that the Bible is the mark of the beast. If you want to come public with it, some of them come public with it. A lot of them have got businesses and things. They stay hit out, which that's a wise thing to do because they're going to get you. So this is the ministry for today. And I've been in it 45 years. I'll be 78 years old next month. And I've been in it 51 years in the Holy Ghost. And he called me when I was a little baby, so I really... Been in it over 70 years. He talked to me when I was a little bitty boy. And he wanted people to know this. They said, why would God do this when he's not going to tear down all these churches like he did the temple? He's going to tear them down when G when the trumpet sounds. When that trumpet sounds, that's war. That means war. And I'm warning you now, there's going to be war against you from God. And he's going to tear you down. He's going to tear down this old whore. And he's going to tear down Mystery Babylon that you built up on the flag. And I'm warning you, and you must take this warning now, because if you don't, you're going to be in trouble when the first trumpet sounds, because the war is going to start, and you'll be left out. So that's what this ministry is all about. It's about a warning. So pay attention. Watch for things to happen. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us this warning and helping us, Lord, like Jeremiah prophesied for 40 years. They wouldn't listen, but now they're in the spirit world, and they're listening, because you're going to put them in the bottomless pit. All these Bible worshipers are going to be bitter, and they're headed for the bottomless pit. And this is a warning to all you people. God did not send a book. He sent the Holy Ghost.